Hello, I'm Hannah Turchi from St. Robert Bellarmine. Thank you for joining me as we make our way together through Bishop Boyer's Year of the Bible. In this chapter of Genesis, we hear God offer to continue to fulfill the covenant that he made with Abraham to Isaac. This is a promise he made with Abraham and recalled with him many times. We see in this promise that God is inviting Isaac into relationship with himself, just as he invited Abraham, his father. It's a beautiful exchange of gift and response. God offers the gift of himself, promising to stay with Isaac and to bless him. He has Isaac to respond in trust and obedience, just as Abraham, his father, responded in trust and obedience. God is leading Isaac into a deeper relationship with himself. Isaac obeys, and God continues to bless him, so much so that it starts to make the neighboring Philistines nervous and envious. As the situation becomes more difficult, God reassures Isaac, saying, I am the God of your father Abraham. You have no need to fear, since I am with you. I will bless you and multiply your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Isaac responds to God by building an altar and worshiping him. As we read on in scripture, we will continue to see God constantly inviting Israel, his people, into a covenant relationship with himself, and them responding to him. Sometimes they respond rightly, and sometimes not so much. But God is always inviting, reminding them, I have loved you with an everlasting love. God promises to be with us as well. Jesus is the new covenant. He asks us to follow him, to remain in him, so that we might have abundant life. God always fulfills his promises, always invites us to come to know him more, just as he did with Abraham and Isaac. Once again, we see this beautiful exchange of gift and response. He offers the gift of himself and invites us to be in right relationship with him. We respond in trust and obedience to God with our whole hearts and worship through our everyday work and actions, our daily prayer, and in the Mass and sacraments. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the first and primary author of sacred scripture. Help me to receive what you have revealed in your holy word. Give me a greater hunger to daily seek you in the scriptures so that I might come to know you and your Son more intimately. May your Holy Spirit open me to be transformed by your Holy Word throughout this year of the Bible. We ask these blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.